So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. So here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Gotta think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it, no doubt. He'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. the tape for this lightweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, Evo Lane. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, cheap car. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Margiapa. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? It's well, okay. it's always been a huge market for the MMA leader, and we are always glad to come back. They have rolled out the welcome mat tonight as we get underway from the O2 Arena here in London, England. Push kick there to the body. That's a nice clean shot. <laughs> Trying to double up on that jab. Immediately shoots for the leg. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Nice hammer fist. Some good punches from the top here. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Into the full guard. Big shot from the bottom. Sweet reversal. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Hammer fist. Back to full guard again. And they both stand up. Switching stances here. Look at that. Nice. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh, Huge that is shot. A big hook. We'll see if he can follow it up. And now starting to snap off that jab. He didn't miss with that uppercut. He ch he's checking every single one of those. And again, look at that, clinch. Fighters back to their feet here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, oh, big nice knee! knee. Oh, he's rocked! Still unable to find that precise range with the high kicks. Hurt him 
with that Superman punch. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Connects there with the punch. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Ooh, he got an ankle lock here. He's gonna lean back. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's gonna crank it. Stunning. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. The round was about to end. Sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was gonna stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't wanna rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. You see it one more time, gets that leg, locks it in, and look at the pressure here. Nice submission. And one more time, Nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a heel lock, Chico! Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Now the celebration is on. There got to be few things in all of pro sports as satisfying than to be able to celebrate a UFC win with your coaches and training partners. And thankfully for this young man, now that is all that is left to do. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot come. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. this young fighter makes the walk, you gotta think he's thinking strategically about how to get this fight to the ground to set up his guard passing abilities. Great technique, plus athlete as well, and really a guy who cuts the guard with the best of them to set up a dominant position on the ground. I think a lot of opponents are sort of freaked out by just how quickly this guy transitions between positions on the ground. No doubt his opponent has prepared. Sometimes you just can't simulate an athlete like this in training. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the action begins on referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. 
This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bulldog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the left corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, the Cooler. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This Come has on. been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down go. right go. now. Ready? You ready? Dateline go. London, England. Good to have you with us as always as we get underway with live action from the O2 Arena. Oh, big shot. Immediately shoots for the leg. Wow! That left high kick came out of nowhere! The kick is there to the body. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. And he switches his stance yet again. Flipped him with the jab. And just misses there with the left. Right hand, yup. Nice body kick there. Blocks the shot. Clean, hard shot to the head with that hook. Front kick to the body. Three minutes remain in the round. And he doesn't get it. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. There it is. He's got one, he's got two hooks. Trying for a submission here, Joe, or so it appears. Nicely done. Trying to mount, he's got it, full mount. He postures into place. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's looking for the omoplata shoulder lock here. What he wants to do is, he wants to put one of the hands on the mat, then once he's got that, oh and my God! God. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight. And that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, hold on. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training. All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title.
All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vase. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they have the same height and reach. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, the great. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Nightman. Exit for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready to fight? Ready. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. Right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. Really missed with that right hand. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice job of avoiding the clinch. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. 
Left kick to the body. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just missed with the left there. Hit him with the jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Impressively done. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's moved to full guard. Attacking with the guillotine choke. He's got that choke locked in nice. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. Wow. In half guard now. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Unable to connect this. Huge Magic hook. hook shot is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Whoa, head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at that, right to the temple. And lands a good shot. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he tags oh. with the left. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Trying to take the back. Double underhooks now, Joe. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Lands an elbow inside. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tying him up here in the clinch. He's got full control here. Oh, Double oh. underhooks. Round two is next. Let's look at that from a different angle. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste on hand. Looking for that left. Well, he has landed some good. Oh! oh! He's got hurt here. Man, has his chin been tested in. Excellent movement here on the ground. And now he's working from full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. He caught a twister here. He's got the twister locked in. He might get a finish here. And there it is. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show. And he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And let's take a look at that twister from another angle. Locks down that leg, wraps the arms around the back of the head, and cranks for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, folks, the UFC lightweight champion. And Joe, he figured to beat any 155er in the world here tonight as clean a performance as he could have turned in. And ultimately, he gets the win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a twister.
Wilder is the new king of the 155 pounders, and you are looking at him, the undisputed lightweight champion. And it's one thing to come in and beat the champion. It's another thing to come in and submit him. So really an incredible result here tonight that we are still digesting, Joe. And as they celebrate in the corner, it's going to be very interesting to see who this fighter takes on next in the first defense of his 155-pound title. Darling, I see that you're dangerous. Got a lot of dudes for replacing. I stay true to the statements. We should go wild in the 